for the next hour, let's get better. So that leads us to lunch. We, we still got a long day ahead of us, but it starts right here right now. All right, we're good? Yes. Let's go, here we go. Here we go, Canada on three. One, two, three. Canada! I started coaching Blue when I was 16, and uh, I had great role models, uh, great teachers along the way who kind of influenced me to become that educator, that leader, and I kind of developed a, a coach. I love the sport of basketball, I've been playing since I was four. Well, Rowan did a great job starting this position and identifying these athletes. He was on the grind, on the court, at tournaments, being proactive, and identifying athletes. And when I got the position, I kind of followed suit and attended a lot of these tournaments, a lot of practices. And we had our ID camp in December, where we actually opened it up for everyone across the province to come to these ID camps, identify athletes. Then we did another invitation ID camp to really break down our 22,000 group, our 20, 99 group, and now we have our 40 athletes. You know, it's, our, it's our second out of seven camps. And so far we have seen the athletes respond to the coaching. They're, just, they're, they're getting better. Just from our last camp a month ago to now, dramatic improvements. I think it's developing their self-concept. They're trying to, as I said, these kids are so innocent. They're trying to still understand who they are, you know, on the court, off the court. And building their self-concept here uh, through our coaches, through one another, building their self-confidence, their self-concept within their skills, builds their self-esteem. They're helping each other grow. Not just, this is who I am, I'm up here. You know, it's, let's, let's build up together. So that hopefully that's the next phase. I tell him every day when I'm, at, when I'm at the house. I tell Marcus that, you know, he's my little brother and he's very good for his age and um, not to let that get to his head. I mean, that's what, that's what happens to a lot of these kids when they reach this age, but I'm very, I was very impressed when I came in. I, I was with Coach uh, Chris Chang and I was watching them play and I was very impressed. They got the concepts down at a young age. They um, got the spacing down, the talent is there. They, they look like they're investing themselves into to being a better, a better player. And I told them that, you know, the best advice I can give them is just to be committed. Be committed because, you know, the skills that they're learning now, the concepts they're learning now go a long way. I'm jealous, to be honest, because, you know, these guys got it, got whatever they, 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 they asked for. I mean, the hotels going away, the camaraderie they can get with the teammates, and just the player development, it's just a great situation. I mean, it's, it's blessed, and I tell my brother every day, don't take it for granted. When I was younger, I mean, I was, I was bigger than everybody else, and so I was able to bully my way to the basket and be kind of the top player, and, I got involved in that whole ranking scheme at a young age, so I try to tell these guys not to be like me, to kind of choose a different pack. It's not all about ranking, it's not all about you being the strongest guy, you gotta get your skills down pat. Because like my, my trainer, Kyle Jules, always tells me, when you're not working, somebody else is working, no matter where it is in the country, it could be Africa, it could be China, it could be America, so you know you can't take things for granted. So what I try to tell them is just to, to pay attention to what Coach Chris Chang is saying. He, he played a major role in my development, uh, with Coach Rana and, and coaches like that and, and, and Blue, Brian Blue. So I try to tell them to listen to what they're saying. At a young age, it's hard for them to, to kind of understand and, and have the positive attitude, but I saw, I just try to let them know that they need to get that positive attitude. I think the sky's the limit for the talent that we have and, and coming up. As long as we continue giving them quality coaches and quality training and, and the, right, the right mentors around them, I think the sky's the limit for these kids and the next generation and the next generation. These kids, a lot of time, don't know how good they have it. And I think that if they put in the, the work outside of when they're just here for the weekend, then we're going to see great things out of these kids. Junior Academy, what does it mean to you? It means a lot, you know, because you have, you're really privileged to come here and to work on your game and to be with coaches that train with the guys at the higher level. Not everyone gets these opportunities and you can't take it for granted. 
whereabouts do you live uh, in, in Ontario, in Toronto? Oh, I live in uh, Vaughan, Ontario. So you're in the same area as uh, Andrew Wiggins and Techie and all those guys. You know those guys, right? Yeah, yeah. I run with them at the center all the time, yeah. What do you think about Andrew Wiggins and what does he do for you in terms of your aspirations in basketball? I think that really he, he was able to put us on the map because he went down there, made a name for himself, and everybody just said, wow, you know, Canadians have talent. And now we're getting looked at so that he just created a gateway for us to be able to be, be successful. In terms of uh, the program, what's been the, the, the most surprising thing for you being here? Uh, the most surprising thing is how is the lessons they teach us, really. The off-court lessons, how to be a better person, not just a better basketball player. So let's take a look here. There are three types of leadership. Three. Autocratic, democratic, and the last one says laissez-faire. The person thinks he's, he's working too hard and, and deserves more playing time. If you're autocratic and you yell at him and then he just starts playing even worse, then you kind of have to like, boost his confidence and tell him, like, come on, let's go, be positive. I felt very privileged because not everybody gets this opportunity to work out in this facility and just working with a lot of talent and great players. They've taught us so much values in life, like how to be a respectful, how to be a man, basically. A lot of talents in the gym, I just want to be the best. If we start from now and get like more of a chemistry for each other, we'll be more of a dangerous threat in the Olympics and whatnot. Our vision is to, in 2020 is to be the world leaders of basketball. And it starts with these athletes here, and it starts with athletes who are younger because they're next on the rise. And when those who are coming up, we're going to have more opportunities for them to develop and for us to get better. Guys, tell them what time it is. We're going to get into basketball. Are you?